Hi, <laughs> what a great time to be alive. Today I will talk about using PyTorch on M1 with hardware acceleration. Um, well, it's not really about how to use it, but I'll show you how fast it is. So last week I updated uh, my own setup with a PyTorch nightly build that now has hardware acceleration on Apple M1. Before I show you anything, please keep in mind that I'm doing this now on an old M1. It's the first generation. This computer here is two years old and has been helping me a lot with all my data science and deep learning projects. Um, I was quite amazed last year when I saw that TensorFlow got hardware acceleration. Now PyTorch has hardware acceleration too. I did some deep learning in the sense that I ran a training, but well, you still would need dedicated hardware for it. But well, what about what about um, inference, like running this locally, predicting with the new networks that you have trained? What you do see here is my tool that I use all the time for composing music for my own albums. And what happens right now is that I'm going to ask Hugging Face GPT-2 that I have trained on a lot of music to please generate me a little music there. And this time, this is going to be executed on the M1, but without hardware acceleration. So I now click. So you see it refreshed. This shows that I got another piece of music. Let's do that again so that you get a feeling how long it takes without hardware acceleration. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Let's do that again. Okay, so this is quite nice. So you see it takes always a moment, one more time. And then you have some new music. Let me quickly switch gears. Um, I will kill this server and I will run this again with PyTorch Nightly. So this is, well, maybe this is going to make a difference. It takes a moment to start um, the server. It's a music server running in the background. Okay, coming back, let's hit that button again. That was the first time. First time, it takes a moment to get um, the model into memory. Let's try again. 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 And again. So I did the math. This actually is roughly 10 times faster, which allows us to, in, in a smaller amount of time, to generate way more music. This is excellent. So I really, really love it. And this would also open the door for, yeah, for me to run bigger neural networks on my M1. And boy, I think next week I'm going to go to the local reseller and um, order a new M1 because now I'm very curious about how fast those, after two years, those new notebooks are. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.